Whiskey with another video, and today I'm actually doing my first ever theory, and yeah, I made this in Google Slides, but anyway, today I'm doing the theory on Five Nights at Leo's 3 Reborn, so anyway, let's get into it. So hello, already introduced that, and this is kind of a disclaimer, this is only meant for Galaxy Cat slash the Smashers, because... It's his game and stuff, and yeah, anyway, welcome to the first ever theory time, and the theory is going to be Five Nights at Leo's 3 Reborn Explained, so I'm going to try to explain the game pretty much. What is theory time, if you ask? Well, you may have, I may have shown you this in previous videos, but anyway, I'll say it again. Theory time is a session where I do theories on and on any things I get on things I get requested to do theories on, like FNAF fan games. And then you may ask, what is Five Nights at Leo's 3? Which, yeah, I'll just explain that too. Five Nights at Leo's 3 Reborn is a FNAF fan game. If you don't want, if you don't know what FNAF is, click off the video right now. But anyway, Five Nights at Leo's Reborn is a FNAF fan game based off of the FN Five Nights at Freddy series. And, anyway, this is, no, it's not explained, it's a theory, so take that away, guys. So, let's get into the theory, shall we? So, anyway, the first thing I want to really discuss is I'm doing a who, what, where, and why format of how all of this is going to work. So, let's start with who. So, I guess you guys may be asking, so... I'm going to use the who, what, where, and why theory. So the most asked questions probably on all theories is who. So who are the characters and who are the characters I'm going to be using for this theory and everything. And the character I'm going to be using is number one, Frogger. And number two, I'm just going to explain Frogger before I say number two. Frogger is from a game called Five Nights of Frogger. It's one, two, and three. Now, the Froggood series is connected to the Finite Nights Leo series, which is proven by the posters in the games. I will bring them up on screen right now. Here we go. I will show you the proof. And here's the proof. See, don't go to Leo, stay here at Froggood's. Froggood's ease is going out of business from Finite Nights Leo's. And this. And guys, I just want to notice this is... These guys are competitors, and I want you to remember that. I want you to remember that these guys are competing with each other in the same era to get more popularity, and they're competing to get the popularity. That's why at Froggerts it says don't go to Leo's, and at Leo's it says Froggerties is going out of business. And if you don't believe me, well, I'll say what games they're from. Right here. So... If you don't believe me, I'll tell you what games the posters are from. This poster is from Finance of Frogger's 2. And this poster is from Finance of Leo's 5. And this poster is from Awakening at Leo's 4. And you know what's unique about this thing is it's not a poster. It's an actual animatronic in the game. Which is really mysterious, but that's for a whole nother theory. Okay, but anyway, from this evidence... So with all this information, we can tell that... You tell the year that it takes place in and what the order of the games and the order of the games but anyway I'll get into that later let's get into the next character and the next character we have is Leo and if you don't know who Leo is he's basically the main protagonist of Five Nights at Leo's and if you do play the series now if you do know what Leo looks like from Five Nights at Leo's Reborn series, this looks nothing like him. I will bring up a picture right now. So here's the picture. I know this looks nothing like him. But anyway, guys, I'm going to show you some proof. Yes, I know what you're thinking. This looks nothing like him. But there are some things that look the same, including the ears, the eyes, and the squares under his eyes. So yeah. Also, it could just be Galaxy Cat Games experimenting with shading, because he does not shade in any other, any other of his games. So, anyway. Or, or a completely different character and all. But, 
if it is a uh, complete a different character, I guess the theory is half to. I'll explain later why it may be half to. Okay, so Leo is the face of all the games. This is proven because he is in the title of all the games. So let's get on to the next character. And the next character, we don't have a character. I'm just pranking you guys. But anyway, we're going on to what? So what happens in these events? So, so now we are going on to what? So with these two characters, they end up coming into one animatronic. So let me show you what the manifestation looks like. It looks like this. Just a manifestation of both of them. And yeah, pretty much it's very interesting. So this guy looks like Leo and Frogger combined. To be honest with you, this looks so freaking cool, but anyway, let's get on to the importance, to his importance in the game. So, his importance in the game, so I've been watching Galaxy Cat Games and working on Finance of Leo's Reborn 3. And not I noticed something, he has never shown anything to do with this character, which I found a little bit weird since Galaxy Cat Games like likes to show things to his fans. So I think he's hiding something from us. And there he is again, just to get a look at him. So, anyway, I think he's been hiding something. Oh, it's cancelled from the game. Sad face. But I don't think it's cancelled since I talked to him earlier to see if this character is still in the game. And I'll bring up that comment when he confirmed this character is still in the game. Okay, there's the character again. What? So this is me. This is me with the comment. I have an idea and find it's a Wheels 3 Reborn teaser. You should you showed an am animatronic that is not in the game. And looks like and looks like Leo and Frog mixed into one, so you could add him. That's me. And then his reply. This is his reply, guys. His reply is really, really and then Biscuit Dog, this is Galaxy Cat Games replying. Biscuit Dog, yeah, but what does he do? So there, he just confirmed it. He wants me to tell him what he does in the game. But he confirmed it. Anyway, let's get on to what this means. Let's get on to where. So where does this all take place? And so we know that he is confirmed in the game. So let's get on to where, where and f on to where. And Frogger and how Frogger got to Leo's Pizzeria. Five Nights at Frogger's 2, Night 5, ending. So, so I think Frogger gets closed down and down, and Frogger and Frogger gets sent to Leo's Tail. Leo's Tail is a whole attraction, I think. I think it's a whole attraction because in FNAF 3, it's a whole attraction. And the name is also Leo's Tail, which makes sense. And then, this is the Night 5 ending. Congratulations, see you soon. See you soon. John Smith, $155, July 10th, 1987. Frogger's forced to fund. Devote to job. And also, I wanted to say this, guys, but I actually... Sorry, Find It's a Loose, since this is kind of outdated, Find It's a Loose 3 is actually a warehouse. But anyway, let's just change that and say you got moved to warehouse. Well, it makes sense in my opinion. I will bring up some pictures of the com of the complex right now, so you can get a better picture of the complex. Leo's tail, parts and storage, and then this and this. There is pictures of the office and rooms in the game. And as you can see, as you can see. So now let's get on to the into the timeline. So it's pretty obvious what year this is from this paycheck slap payment slash check and also the date and also the date so the year is 1987 and the date is july 10th and if you know from the fnaf law 1987 was a big year so let's get on to the order of the game see july 10th 1987 right there so anyway we okay so this part may be be a bit confusing but stick with me so you know when I was showing you the posters the first poster said don't go to Leo's and that was in Five Nights of Fathers 2 
And the first time we see a poster in Five Nights at Leo's is in the fifth game. I think Five Nights at Leo's 5. See? Okay, there's the paycheck again. I think Five Nights at Leo's 5. And Finance of Frogger's 2 take place in the same year, 1987, and the posters are up because they're in competition with each other. Also, in Finance of Leo's Reborn 1, there's a poster that talks about Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. I'll bring up the poster right now. Here it is. Food poisoning kills three local students. Freddy Fazbear's Pizza closes. Security guard looks for new... looks for an... New challenge, but fails. Well, so anyway, I just showed you that poster. So now we know that the FNAF franchise is connected to the Finite of Leo series in Finite of Leo's 1. Freddy Fazbear's first location closes and Leo's takes its place. And in Awakening at Leo's 4, we see the original form of Frogger, which proves my theory about Frogger's closing. Okay, so anyway, we just proved it. But I found something very weird in Five Nights at Leo 7. I saw a word that was backwards, so I flipped it around, and it said reversed. At first I thought it was just a joke, but then I noticed something. Then I noticed something. This is going to be a Leo stretch, so yeah. I think Five Nights at Leo 7 is before Five Nights at Leo's 1. And guys, it's a real stretch, but whatever, that can wait for another time, so let's get on to why. So why? Why would all these events happen? So I think why would Galaxy Cat Games add this character? I think he has this character to be a background character, like Ennard. And you will never see him see him to Night 5. And the, and the, fi and the Five Nights at Leo's Reborn teaser is a cutscene in the game. La like, link in the description for the teaser. Sorry guys, the teaser got taken off, but that's a picture of Ennard. And this, Ennard pretty much equals the same as this. This manifestation. Oh shoot, shoot. Technical difficulties. But anyway. Oh so, Ennard is a manifestation of all the sister location animatronics, and this character is a manifestation too. I think he is meant to resemble Ennard. Okay, let's get on to how. Again, those Ennard equals that character. How? So, now that we have all this info, we start to see how all the events will turn out. So here's what I think. Froggerts gets closed down... Down. Froggerts... Frogger... Froggert gets moved to Leo's Tail, the new and improved Leo's Pizzeria. Gets closed down as well, and Leo is sent to Leo's Tail. Leo and Frogger become one animatronic to be like Ennard because Ennard was the animatronic's last hope. So the man, so the manifestation of Leo and Frogger is their last hope. And you know in the te in the teasers in Final Fantasy Leo's Reborn 2, they say I'm still here. But that's because they're always the they're always there the whole time throughout the whole series because Leo was always there and Frog Froggit was always there in the in Five Nights at Froggy series and Blue Trap was always there because he is the killer in that suit. By the way, the talk about the killer in F Five Nights at Leo's Reborn 2. So anyway Reborn. So in Five Nights at Leo's 2 Reborn and when the phone guy says I think something else is controlling the animatronics. That means the kids, the the kids, the killer killed are possessing them, and their spirits wanted a new body so they could possess the animatronics. And in the phone call, they say the killer. So we don't have an official name, but they just call it the killer. Has they say the killer has been executed? They mean they put him into a spring lot suit to rot and turn into blue trap because all of the pain and suffering he gave to the children. So that was Five Nights at Leo's Reborn explained. So, end. What is a... Uh, but guys, remember, this is just a theory. It may not be true. So on that note, bye!